In this tutorial, let's look at the mobile terminated call flow scenario. We'll assume that mobile MS has already registered, been registered in a particular PLMN, MSC, VLR and is allocated at TIMC. So the incoming call actually comes from a landline subscriber. So incoming call comes actually, uh, it is routed to the gateway MSC. That's the incoming call. How it knows which gateway MSC to be routed to, it looks at the MSISDN number, the NDC uh, network destination code of the MSISDN number, it knows which gateway MSC uh, to be routed to. After the gateway MSC receives the incoming call request, it sends a map uh, protocol send routing info request to the particular HLR after analyzing the MSISDN number. So it's a map protocol send map message send routing I'm actually writing in short form because I don't have space request so for request I'm going to write R information to the HLR after analyzing <coughs> the network destination code of the MSISDN when once HLR receives that message HLR sends since HLR knows it's a subscriber database it knows where the mobile currently is visiting it knows which MSC VLR the mobile is it sends a map provide a roaming Number. By the way, this is called the HLR inquiry where uh, uh, where GMSC is actually sending an inquiry to HLR where send me the MS uh, uh, routing information that is MSRN mobile uh, subscriber routing number or MSRN. So it sends a map provide roaming number request to the mobile locations current MSC VLR. So map provide roaming number request for request I'm going to write R this comes back with a response so basically these messages are uh, same messages one is request one is response and now HLR actually forwards that response the MSRN to the gateway MSC this 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 message the response to this message so I'm just going to write here response basically this message is the map send routing info response message once the gateway msc knows the routing number of or the msrn number of uh, the mobile it knows where to send the isup initial address message so it sends an isup initial address message to the msc vlr where the current where the mobile is uh, located isup initial address message now this message uh, MSC from this message actually this message now the MSC already VLR already has the MSI is an MC of the of the mobile MSC now actually looks at the LAI of uh, you know ask for the LAI of, uh, of the mobile from the VLR looks at the LAI and sees which BSS is to be paged so it sends a BSS map paging message to the different BSS to be paged so BSS map paging message this message has the MC or TMC of the mobile and also the cell identifier list of the mobile BSS receives this message and then sends a RIL 3 RR paging request message to RIL paging request message to all the mobiles in the area on a paging broadcast paging channel basically and this message has uh, the MC TIMC of uh, of the mobile so this message basically now all the mobiles are receiving this message when the mobile sees its MC TMC to be uh, broadcasted and actually it wants to respond back to this paging message so it basically sends so it doesn't have the channel to respond back to it asks for the radio resource allocation so it sends a RIL 3 RR channel request message to the BSS on the random access channel the BSS responds back to the on the same RIL3 immediate assignment 
message assignment message on the access grant channel in this message has the allocated address of the standalone dedicated channel which the mobile can use for signaling so mobile actually uses this standalone dedicated channel for signaling to respond back to the paging which is the ril3 paging response paging response on the standalone dedicated channel this paging response standard dedicated channel actually uh, this paging paging response message actually has the MC MC of the mobile and the MS and the mobile characteristics and it's also established a layer to signaling between the, the MS and the base station the BSS actually forwards this message now to the MSC VLR on a BSS map complete layer 3 message now this also starts the SCCP connections signal connection control part SCCP connection between the BSS and the MS MSC after this you know after the the you know the channel and everything that's been done the BS the MSC sends a DTAP setup message to the mobile call control setup message to the mobile which has the bearer capability whether it's a speech call or a fax call and calling party number so it's a DTAP call control setup message that hey you know there is a call initiating its call coming do you want to take that call or not like setup message do you uh, is a call for you now so it's a setup message which is sent on the standalone dedicated channel from the MSC to the mobile with here when the mobile receives this message the mobile looks at the message and sees whether it is able to take that call or not whether it's compatible to take that call or not it checks the compatibility and uh, sends a DTAP call control call confirmed message so basically it sends back a message saying that okay I'm fine with that through so DTAP call control call confirmed message to the MSC VLR once the MSC VLR knows that the mobile is okay with the with the you know with the call and everything, it starts the radio traffic assignment process. So it sends a you know this I've covered also in the mobile uh, originating call flow, but I'm going to cover you know I'm going to quickly go through it again. It sends a BSS map assignment request. which is translated from the BSS to the mobile as RIL3 uh, channel assignment command message message to the to the mobile mobile actually uh, responds back to this message saying that okay you know I'm okay with that uh, with the new radio traffic channel that you want to give me and it uh, actually sends back with a command complete complete message and uh, once it's sent back to the command complete message the uh, assignment complete message and basically so the BSS sends a BSS map assignment complete message also to the BSS map assignment complete message to the MSC saying that the radio traffic channel has been allocated completed once this happens you know the voice traffic has already been uh, uh, established between the MS and the MSC and uh, at this point the BSS actually deallocates the standalone dedicated channel which the mobile has been using so far so now what happens MS starts alerting the the MSC by sending a DTAP alerting message so basically DTAP call control alerting message on the fast associated channel I see that we have less space, but we're going to we're going to still try to do it here. Once the MSC receives this message, MSC sends an ISOP initial address message to the gateway MSC. So it's ISOP initial address message to the gateway MSC. The gateway MSC actually is sending the network alerting message now here. Network alerting message to the calling party so at this point the calling party before this point the calling party was 
listening a little bit of a silence but at this point it's hearing the alerting tone and uh, now after that the DTAP call control connect message this is a connect message from the mobile mobile is ready to answer the call on the fast associated channel and once the MSC VLR receives that message it sends an ISUP answer message it sends an ISUP A N S answer message A N S M or M message to uh, to the gateway MSC gateway MSC sends a connect message to the PSTN at this point uh, the connection is established and the MSC VLR actually sends a acknowledgement back uh, connect acknowledgement back to the mobile MS saying that the voice path has been established. Thank you very much.